An MCL tear of the knee most often heals, usually within about four to six weeks. But would peptides or other regenerative treatments like PRP, stem cells, or exosomes speed healing and recovery from that MCL injury? My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. Now, the MCL is a very, very common knee injury. If you look at a knee model, this is, this is a right knee, but the inside or the medial side of the knee and then the lateral side of the knee, the MCL is the thick stabilizing ligament on the medial side or the inside of the knee, typically with some sort of cutting motion or maybe a, an athlete that gets hit on the outside of the knee <clears throat> typically injures that MCL. And yes, not all, but the vast majority of MCL injuries heal on their own. There's a small subset typically where it's torn off the tibia down here, uh, complete tear, it's uh, pulled off. And especially if it flips outside of the hamstring tendons that attach there, that often doesn't heal without surgery. But generally, MCL injuries heal without surgery. The more severe the injury, the longer it takes. Typically, this is not a perfect rule, but grade one MCL injuries take zero to two weeks. Grade two injuries take two to four weeks. Grade three injuries about four to six weeks. Could a regenerative treatment help them heal faster? If you go back and read my book, there's a chapter on platelet-rich plasma and that, how that was used with Heinz Ward before the 2009 Super Bowl to get that to heal faster. He had a grade two MCL, but the Super Bowl was only two weeks away and they tried to get him back to play sooner. It's really interesting. Check that out. But PRP, at least in the United States, was first used, at least publicly, for MCL injuries. So potentially, could be helpful. There are studies looking at piece, uh, MCL injuries, and yes, potentially they it could help it heal faster. Somewhere like exosomes or stem cells also could potentially do that, albeit there's really no data on that out there so, so far. Mostly that's studied for osteoarthritis, but those injections performed by an orthopedic surgeon or physician, yes, could get that to heal faster. Again, sometimes hard to necessarily justify that for, a, especially if it's a first time MCL injury, that's very, very likely going to heal anyway. It's not covered by insurance. It's considered experimental by the FDA. And most people are not Super Bowl playing high level pro athletes, college athletes. So it may not be a big deal, but yes, could it be helpful? Now, would something like peptides that pep, uh, patients give themselves be helpful? Yeah, potentially, uh, some, especially something like a BPC-157, which at least in animal studies has been shown to help tendon healing, has been studied for the Achilles tendon. There could be a role in that. Some of the others like thymus and beta-4, really not, or TB-500, thymus and beta-4, TB-4, may be helpful, even though there's not really a lot of data there. Some of the muscle growth peptides like a CJC-1295 might help in sort of the recovery phase, might not have that much role as far as actually healing the ligament. All of this, as I talk about a lot in these modern medicine videos, is considered experimental by the FDA. I'm not promoting them. I'm not telling you you should do them. I just want to give you more information on some of the science behind it, what they are, how they could potentially be used so that you could talk to your doctor, you could talk to your orthopedic surgeon. And if you decide to do it, have them do that procedure or in the case of peptides, have them prescribe that for you rather than you buying peptides online. I've got whole videos on some of the issues there, but I, I hope that this, these videos, and especially as it pertains to this one, MCL injuries are helpful. I'd love to hear your experience with your MCL injury, especially if you've tried regenerative treatments for it. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't give you medical advice. So what I do is I try to answer those questions in future videos. Please subscribe to this channel. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my live streams, including my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.